everybody, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am really excited to show you guys my top Mac tips and tricks. So if you do not know already, I'm a big tech person, I'm a software engineer, and I love all things tech. So I thought it would be really fun to just show you guys what I do to customize my MacBook Pro and just my top tricks that I use on the daily. What I'm going to be going over in this video is one, I'm going to be showing you guys how I did this flip click screensaver. Two, I'm going to show you how to turn on and off your blue lights depending on the hour. I'm going to show you how to do a touch bar customization as well as how to hide all desktop icons. I'm also going to show you my top shortcut commands that I use on the daily as well as how to use hot corners. If you do not know what that is, make sure to watch because they are really fun. I'm also going to show you how to customize your colors and lastly I'm going to show you how to minimize your dock. So before moving on to the video, please make sure to subscribe if you have not already and make sure to like and comment whatever tip you thought was the best that I talked about or just any that I missed. I love hearing your comments and just suggestions down in the comments below. So yeah, that is pretty much it for my intro and without further ado, let's just hop right into it. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to show you guys is how to do the clock screensaver and what you're going to do is click on the website that I have linked down below and just an FYI to be a bit careful about this website it is a little bit sketch because there are a lot of ads on it so make sure to not click on it and follow exactly what I'm doing on this tutorial so what you're gonna do is go on the site and you're gonna click this top three lines on the corner from there you are gonna see a lot of ads please do not click on this that is a little bit dangerous what you do want to click on though is this download right here so once you download you're just going to follow the steps to download everything and it might take like a few minutes but don't worry it is all going to be downloaded from there you're going to want to go to your system preferences go to desktop and screensaver from there you will actually find the clock screen there and you could also change the settings to make it a little bit bigger or smaller however you want and then you could also change like the brightness of it i like it full brightness and that is pretty much it. You save that and you will have your cute little clock screensaver. My next tip is to turn on and off your blue lights. And this is especially helpful at night when you want to get better rest. So what you do is go to system preferences, go to displays, and then go to night shift. And then here you can turn it on to sunset to sunrise, or you can even do a custom one to manually change the hours. And then you could also change it to be a little bit more warm or less warm, depending on where you are. But I personally like doing sunset to sunrise because it changes it automatically and I don't have to think about it too much. My next tip is to customize your touch bar. So what you're gonna wanna do is go to keyboard and and keyboard you're going to press on this customized touch bar from there you will see all these icons that you can actually just drag and drop to your touch bar so let's say instead of by volume i want to change it to a do not disturb so i will click that and change it and yeah you can just customize as you go so so i find that super helpful my next tip is one of my favorites which is to hide all your desktop items and this is by an app called Hidden Me. So what you wanna do is go to the app store and from there you search for that actual app name. So it's called Hidden Me. And from there you can just download and it will pop up right here on top. And what it does is that you can hide your desktop icons and show them again whenever you want. So I find that super helpful whenever I just want to declutter my desktop. My next tip is to show you guys my top shortcut commands. So one of my favorites is actually to hit command and spacebar. And what that does is it brings you to your spotlight search. So you can just search whatever you want on there and you do not have to click on it on top. The next one is for Google Chrome. So let's say when you're on Google Chrome and you want a new tab, what you do is press command T and it will bring you to a new tab and then if you want to change tabs you can do option command and the right or left arrow key to bring you to all your different tabs another one that i really like is command and tab and that will bring you to your applications and you can just tab through whatever you want to open and once you let go of command it will bring you to whatever you picked 
Next, I'm gonna show you hot corners, and if you do not know what that is, it is basically a little shortcut that you can just mouse over your corners of your screen and it will get you to wherever you put it to go to. So how I do that is I go to System Preferences and then I go to Desktop and Screensaver. From there, you will see this hot corners and then from there you can actually choose wherever you want these corners to go to. So I have this one to start the screensaver, but you can pretty much just look through the different options and choose whatever you may like. Let's say that I go to the top left and it should pop up the start screensaver. So if I go here, then my screensaver will pop up. So that is also a cool little hack that you can do. My next tip is a super fun one and that is to customize your map colors. So what you do is go to system preferences again and then go to general. From there you can kind of go back and forth between light mode and dark mode. I kind of just like light mode right now but I do go back and forth quite often. From there, I like to do my accent color and this one's just really fun because this changes like your button as well as just like things that you click in. So you can just kind of customize it with however you want. Um, I kind of like the green one right now so I'm just going to leave it green so, but you can pretty much just customize it however you may like. Lastly, my tip is to hide and show your dock. So that is what you see here when I scroll down you will see that my dock is showing and then when I go up it hides. So what I do is click on dock again on system preferences and you will just click this automatically hide and show dock. So if I click that off it will just show forever and then if I click this it will only show if I drag down to the bottom it will pop up and if I drag up it will hide and then you could also change like how large or small you want it through here so yeah that is pretty much it for my Mac top tips and tricks I really hope that you enjoyed watching or that you found this helpful and also make sure to subscribe if you have not already and like and subscribe and comment and all that fun stuff so yeah that is pretty much it for my video I hope that you enjoyed and I will see you next time bye guys